Hey guys, I had a number of questions asking me if the Nexus 6 supported USB OTG, which if you didn't know stands for on the go, so I thought I'd test that out for you guys. You will of course need a USB on the go cable, these cost around 2 to 3 pounds in the UK on Amazon, so pretty cheap. One end has a micro USB that you can plug into your phone or tablet, the other end is a USB socket for your USB sticks and hard drives. Be aware that if you're using a hard drive that requires external power, it will still need that external power source to work, so just remember that. And yeah, let's go ahead and test this out on the Nexus 6. So firstly, we'll actually plug in the USB stick to the socket and then of course the micro USB to the Nexus 6. And you should see if there is an LED indicator on your USB or hard drive, it should start lighting up. You can see mine is flashing away there, so it's definitely powered it up. Now, nothing will happen on the Nexus 6 by default. There's no kind of default application that will automatically start. So you will actually need a third party application to access the USB storage. There's a number of options out there. Some require root, some are paid. I recently found out that ES File Explorer works, which is great seeing as I already had it installed and it's free. I also haven't given root access to ES File Explorer, so it doesn't look like it requires root, which is good. If we pull out the side drawer and head over to the local section, you'll see right there at the bottom, there's USB 3002. You can also eject it from here. So it's definitely recognized the drive, which is awesome. If we actually click it, it gives you this prompt that says allow the app ES File Explorer to use USB device. So I think this is a new lollipop thing that's actually granting it access. And that's it. Once you press OK, you can see USB storage and then you can see the files that are on your device. I actually have the entire factory image for Shamu on this USB stick, as you can see. But you can pretty much have anything on here, including music and media files. I have a media file that I have right here just to show you that it can actually play from the USB stick. You don't need to transfer it over. You can see it's blinking on my, uh, on my USB stick there and it is in fact playing. And you can skip through anything as well. So you can have your movies on here, your TV shows, whatever you want. And and you could just plug this in and play them directly from the USB stick, which is always pretty useful as it's basically expandable storage. So that pretty much sums up reading from the USB stick. There's no problems there, but if you're wondering about writing, well, we can go ahead and try that right now. So we'll just go to the download section on my phone to send an APK file that I have. We'll use the, yeah, we'll use the LMT launcher one. It's just a simple small file. We'll hit copy, then we'll go back to the USB stick right there go into USB storage and we'll hit paste and you can see that yes you can actually write to the USB stick as well. Now if you're wondering about storage formats in this video the USB stick I'm using is in FAT32 and you can read and write to it without a problem. I did also try the NTFS format. I could read from it perfectly fine but I could not write to it. So if you've got an NTFS drive you can read from it no problem. You'll be able to watch movies from it or look at documents, but you won't be able to write to it. So just be aware of that, at least not without some sort of modification to the software. But there you go, guys. USB on the go works fine on the Nexus 6. Peace out.